And you have to up that up on the tablet. And look, are you on there? Ground control to major tongue. Hi crafters. Hi Sharon. Hey. Yellow Rose. Good to see you again. Awesome. Hey crafters. Tom and Julie Creek here with Creek Bank Creations. For those of you don't, who don't know us, if you're new to being tuned in, we are from Perrysville, Indiana, which is 45 miles from anywhere. That's right, located in western Indiana, about 70 miles west of Indianapolis. We're glad to have you here today. Hi, Diane. Hi, Terry. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Don. Hi, Mary. Well, I tell you what, let's talk about what we're going to do tonight. Hey, I'm going to give away, first of all, I'm going to give away a set of slide guides tonight, okay? to a winner of a trivia question, and I'm going to give another set of Wonder Wipes. Have you all, those of you who have the Wonder Wipes, have you tried them yet? Do you like them? Yay, nay, maybe. We love them. I hope you guys love them too. And Lisa Stevens, where are you? Need you to private message Julie or email us at uh, creekbc at gmail.com so we can get your address, so we can send your, your, your apron that you won last Tuesday. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, ladies. We are really starting to get a few more people uh, watching. But if we can get up to 90 tonight, I'm going to give another apron away. So instead of giving two gifts away, I'll give three. Okay? So with that, all you need to do to get that viewership up is press um, uh, share down at the bottom of your screen. There's a little icon. Hit share. And it'll go out to all your crafting friends. Uh, and uh, we can get them involved in it too, and we'll give away another apron. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay, tonight, tonight, Julie is going to be using the one step die, which is a really cool die because there's three different ways you can do it, or styles anyway. You can do a, a left cut, a right cut, or center cut. In fact, here is the one of the left cuts that she's going to do tonight. That's a cool looking card. Okay. Here is my favorite with the center cut, the toolbox. Every dad who likes to work with tools would like this one. I want to tell you what, this is cool. Uh, and then... Did you notice how I added the gift card? Ah, she added the gift card. So you can go, go to Harbor Freight and get some more tools. Okay, or wherever. Uh, <laughs> and this is really cool. She used the sunshine die back here. Panel. So, excuse me, the sun, a sun ray panel, a sun ray panel, this guy right here in conjunction with the step card for that. That is, that is, I love that card. Now, I'm going to have a bundle special for tonight's show that will run till whenever. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> we'll close it when we, when you least expect it. Anyway, right now the bundle special is you're going to get the step one die and you're going to get the tiny block letters and you're going to get the mini tool set, that dad's card. Remember I told you that it was dad's going to like that card. And then you're going to get the sunshine rubber stamp. There's four items there. That is a $56 and 96 cent value. And we're going to blow out for $39.99. That's right, ladies, only $39.99. That's right. Couldn't get any finer it's from the diner. Something in your eye. Something in my eye, is there? You had your eye closed. I did? You said that with your eye Hey, closed. have you noticed how I'm healing up? Except for the bruise. Uh, but, uh, and the bike still isn't running. But um, I'm, I'm back to riding my bike, finally. Uh, well, actually, it's not my bike. I'm, I'm riding a girl's bike right now. <laughs> Riding Julie's bike, but I am riding a bike, okay? Except for today, it rained all day, and it's still raining when we came in. But that will mean, hopefully, tomorrow, when the sun comes out, the mushrooms will be popping. And, and then I can, I'm yeah. hoping I can bring some in on Tuesday to show all you folks what a morel looks like, okay? Because they are, del they are a delicacy, darling. 
Are you ready? Speaking of darling, are you ready, my love? I'm ready. Julie is going to get started here. Hey, Janice Dodd, how are you? Carmen, good to see you. It's snowing in New York. Oh, oh, so sorry, 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 Carmen. Uh, Julie, take it away. Hello, hello. So how's everybody doing? And Tom does not have my, there we go. So how's everybody doing? Oh my gosh. And Tom does not have my, there we go. So <laughs> you know, doing? Oh one gosh. of these days we Tom will be better have... at this. So sorry, thank this you. This is How ground do... control for okay. Major Tom. Seriously, wow. Okay, so pretty excited tonight to share with you step cards. And i um, glad to see everybody coming in from all over the place. It's really cool to see when you guys put where you're from, to see um, where you're from and joining us. And um, remember to tell them to hit share so we can get 90. Yeah, so we can give that yeah. We're, we're, give our it goal April. tonight, we have 45 people watching. If you hit 90, Mr. Creek's giving away more free stuff. So um, we're excited about that. And... Um, we're going to do the step cards tonight. I did want to share with you, check in and see how everybody's doing. And um, today was a little rough at my house, like for me. Um, Tom usually comes to work and <laughs> packs orders, and I'm usually working at home. So um, a little rough at home today for me. Um, emotions kind of all over the place. Um, can anybody relate to that? Um just I, I the um you know we live on the um indiana illinois state line and um the governor of illinois announced today that his stay-at-home order is lasting until the end of may and um i have several friends who are hairstylists who work in the state of illinois whose lives have been uh very very um affected in a very negative way so the, the whole thing just is really upsetting and so here's what I wanted to share with you. Um, when we look at this um, situation, we're really in for the long haul. I don't, I don't think this is going to be over soon. We got ourselves a little battle on our hands. And um, so we really have to um, work at our thought life and how we think about things. And so um, really today, I just really had to uh, get my worship music going and... Um, Remember the scripture that um, the Lord gave me a few years ago, Philippians 4, 8. And I want to share that with you tonight. I have this written down next to my computer. And um, I also have it in my kitchen because it helps if you have a remembrance to keep your mind going. So Philippians 4, 8. Think about things that are true, honorable, just, pure, and lovely. Whatever is excellent and worthy of praise, think about these things. So I promise you that when I was thinking about the governor of Illinois today, I wasn't thinking anything that was excellent or worthy of <laughs> praise. So um, that just tells us, you know, God's just given us the scripture as like guardrail on a highway that um, we don't want to go there. It puts us in a bad place. So I just want to encourage you with that today. Uh, think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. And most of the time when we have thoughts that are like, like literally today, I put my head down on my desk and cried. It just uh, is so upsetting when you know the struggle that people are going through. And we all have this stuff in our lives right now. I don't think there's anyone who is immune from it. And, um, so I put my head down on my desk and gave myself a good cry. And when I picked my head up, I looked over at my computer and there was the scripture, Philippians 4, 8, right there next to my computer. Think about things that are lovely and true. And I realized there wasn't one thought that I had that was lovely um, or excellent or worthy of praise. There might've been a few of them that were true, <laughs> but that's open for discussion too. So just encourage you with that to hang on to those things. And um, this is, uh, a skill that my mother taught me from a young child who um, my mom used to put scriptures under my pillow at night. So hang on to that. And if you don't, if, if Philippians 4, 8 is not meaningful to you, then break out your Bible or get on Google and just like search uh, scripture for strength or scripture for hope. 
and um, find one that is meaningful to you because when the world is shifting all over the place, you need a place that's not shifting. And um, the scriptures certainly can give it, uh, can do that for us. And it and Marty, you're right. It's okay okay to cry it and get it out. It is part of the process. I I um, it's almost a grieving process. And sometimes I'm like, okay, man, how how much am I gonna have to go through this? And I know Tom's like, are we over this therapy session yet? But um, so we didn't come here for therapy tonight. <laughs> Psalm 62 tells us to pour our hearts out. So I'm going to look that up, Diane, and spend some time on that and uh, take a look at that because those things are meaningful and help us to stay on the right track. So you already went over the bundle special. I did. I did. So we're going to talk. I didn't tell them what they'd be saving. I told them. Uh, that yeah, I think it's it's on the website. It's right there. It's, it's going to say almost $16. $17. 1697 yeah. if you buy the bundle. We're going to look at four different cards tonight. And I will tell you, this die, the step one, has been around for a very long time. And honestly, I haven't even got I haven't even gotten it out of my stash for a long time. And so I got it out, um, been working with it for the last week, and I got so excited. <laughs> like it's so easy to work with. Some of the dies that we have are rather complex. And I love that. I love that you can like do the tricky things with them and stuff. But um, this, this card is simple to use. You can use it in a ton of different ways. So we're going to talk about step one. Let me grab the package. What did I do with it? Step one? Yeah. Package I thought I had right it right there. behind me. Yep. I, I want this one so they can see. This is what the package looks like. I have previously shot video on this, um, but um, I think what I'm doing tonight is better because I have really cool ideas to share with you tonight. When you die cut with this die, it likes the standard die configuration. So we've kind of talked about this before in these videos. Um, Janice is saying she has her Bible in her craft room and been journaling and reading the Bible a lot more. Yeah, well, good. It, you know, it's a process. And Janice, to be honest with you, I have been more too. Um, so we need the connection and we have a Heavenly Father who loves us. And who has plenty of time for us. He's got, got a lot of good answers in that. A lot, a lot handbook for many life. good answers. And it's they funny how, the like, there's the great big thick Bible, you know? And if you're not, like, um, if you're not a Bible reader and you maybe you haven't picked up a Bible for a very long time, you can pick up an NIV Bible or a um, one-year Bible. Tom loves to read the one-year Bible. And the one, in fact, you can get the one-year Bible you can get the reading plan for the one-year Bible online. In the one-year Bible, you read a Psalm, a Proverbs, a New Testament, and an Old Testament every day. And if you read it every day, you, read the whole Bible you end day. up reading the whole Bible. So you're not reading it like front to back, but you are reading parts of the Bible. So that's a good way. And you can also listen to that on audio online too. So um just gives you a good anchor to hold on to. And really the story is we have a God who loves us. And sometimes we get so busy with life that um, we forget about all of that. So yes, crafty friends are therapy. Okay, let's go back to step one, shall we? When, <laughs> when we cut step one, you um, it likes to go back to the standard configuration. So when you buy your die cut machine, I, I die cut with the Vagabond 2 and... By the way, by the way. And by the way. By the way. By I the way. the Vagabond 2 on special. The Vagabond 2 is on special. It's... I honestly can't wait till we get another camera in here so y'all can see what's going on it's on the other side of the room. It's 149 Plus $15 freight plus fifteen dollars freight one sixty four ninety one sixty four comes with that extended comes with pad. the extended cutting pad and i've got a bundle of four dies and, and tom's got embossing folders free stuff to give you too he keeps interrupting my presentation Sorry. so if you're interested in that you can it's email us cut, yeah. is it on is it on the web yes it is online it is online or if you have questions you can email us we're happy to help so when you buy your machine it comes with a standard cutting pad and um extended base plate extended base plate and standard cutting pads. Okay, this is what it comes with. I This is not my my favorite configuration and I do not keep this in my machine. I, up, I have an upgrade on my machine and my upgrade is 
the um, magnetic platform, the precision base plate, and one clear. So this is a super tight stack. You get great cutting on it. If you have detail cutting you're doing, like with the really intricate dies, it's fantastic. Um, and when you do this, you only have one clear because you have the base plate. So love it. And this base plate is like over it's two years old. It's shiny. Um, and when you so have, you yeah. don't, once you have this, that's right. You don't that's have right. to keep. <laughs> he needs his own care. You took the words out of my mouth. You, you don't know? have to keep you replacing. So right this is mouth. my favorite. Tom, we're going to be here for two hours. This is my fa my favorite stack to going, cut with. But going place, going place tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when you cut dies that have long folds in them or scores, or if you have really long um, cut marks, this adds so much pressure that it ends up breaking the paper fiber instead of folding it. So um, when I cut with this die, I do go back to the standard configuration, okay? So that's one Man, well, that was a long, I know it was a long oh, way no, around man, the road. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna start out with the dad card. It is pretty simple, but um, I just um, wanted to show you how you could do different things with it. When the die cuts, it cuts one little step in here. So we have a step one, and then we have a step four. And um, tonight we're just working with step one. Here's what's great. These hold on, hold on. We have a step one die, and then we have a second die, which is a step four die. Yes. I just we just want to be clear. yes. We have so two different two. dies. Yes. You can type that in the chat if you want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Instead of interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if we put it in the middle of our card, it's going to cut like this, and we're going to have that open space in the middle. If we move it to the left or to the right, we're going to have two different kinds of cards. Do so you see how the main part of my card is over here? And then this is over here. Is everyone else okay on the live feed? I see there's a message on Facebook about the live feed. Well, is everybody mine. okay? I lost mine. Can you guys comment if you're still there? Fine, Cindy is there. Diane Morse, are you still there, Carmen? Yep, Diane, Darren, okay. All right, I don't know what's going on. Something's going on somewhere. Oh, that's like my, my, my grandma used to say, somebody's praying, praying for us, but we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so if we move that die to the left or to the right, we get different. <laughs> A different style of card. Thank you, Sharon. So um, we're going to start out with the middle cut, and then I'm going to explain to you um, how if we move it over, we get different kinds of cards. So when we start with the die, we are going to need a piece of cardstock. And I prefer to work with pretty heavy cardstock for this. And we want our cardstock to be 5.5 by 8.5 with no fold, okay? No fold. If you want to, you can mark the center point of the card over here on the edges with a pencil, but I'm going to teach you how to make a jig. So if you have not watched a video before and are not familiar with how I operate, whenever I have a, a card that requires me to use a die and then do any kind of measurement, I always make a jig and I always make a jig on orange cardstock. So when I put my die away, inside my die package are the jigs that I've made. And the next time I go to use my die, I don't have to measure and align everything. I can just use the jig. So the jig is actually a cheat sheet. So I'm going to show you how to make the jig tonight. And the, this particular card has two jigs because we can use it in different ways. So first thing we're gonna do is I wanna show you how to make the jig and then I'm gonna show you how to use the die and you're gonna see how easy this is to use. And then I'm just gonna share some little tips and tricks with you. 
So um, if you don't know, woodworkers use a jig. So if they're gonna cut, my dad um, loves to make things with wood. If they're gonna cut wood, and they know they're gonna to have to measure the same thing over and over. They take a piece of wood and they keep it and it's a jig and then all they have to do is mark. So all we're doing is that same concept, but we're doing it with our orange cardstock. So um, any, we good there? Looks like we're running good. I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna turn the camera down. So hang on while I get it adjusted. We're going down, baby. Going down. All around, going down. Okay, how are we looking, family? I feel like they're family. Don't you feel like it's like family yeah, night? Yeah, it really is. It's family really night good. at the Creek Bank Creations. Okay. Looking good. Oh, and that's so nice. Y'all are talking to each other. That's great. Okay, I see here that my um, sheet is dirty. I'm gonna get a clean grid pad. Sorry about that. So um, we're going to start with our jig. And our jig is going to be a piece of orange cardstock. And it's going to be 5.5 by 4.25. When we put this die on our paper, <coughs> excuse me, if you look at this die, what you'll see is there's a notch on either side of it. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is an actual notch right here in the side. Yeah, okay, that's meant to go on the center point of the card. So you could take your card, mark the center point, line it all up, but if you make the jig, you don't have to. So what we're gonna do with the jig is we're going to measure a half inch in from both sides, half inch. And I'm just gonna show you a little cheater, a cheater tip. If you have your grid and you line up your card on the grid, that line right there I know is a half inch and I don't even have to do it with the ruler, I can do it this way. We're gonna go a half inch and we're gonna go down to one inch down here. I'm gonna darken up my line half inch, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Half inch, down to the one inch mark. So do you see how I'm using that grid? Um, you, If you have a grid pad, it just makes measuring so much easier. We're going down to right there. And then we're gonna go across the bottom at one inch. And that will give me the basic setup that I need for the basic dad card, which has the opening in the middle. Okay. I'm trying to see if my alignment's right. Okay, so um, I mark this. So this is my jig that I made and I mark it, it's the step one die A2 card, and I have written on here, align the corners with the bottom of the card. So I mar I'm marked and I put arrows on here, align the corners and the bottom of the card. Okay, so what we want to do is lay that right on top of our card. Okay, and then we're gonna lay our die on. Okay, now if we're going to make the jig that moves over to the left or to the right, we need to make a second jig for that. And that spacing is an inch and a quarter because if this is our card and we are going to move this to the left or to the right to make a different style of card, see we're gonna start in the center and then we can move it to the left or we can move it to the right. It's gonna make a different kind of card when we do that. But we only have six inches on our cutting platform if you own a standard cutting machine, which means the farthest I can move that over is here. Does that make sense to you guys? If I go try to get a two inch panel here or a three inch, 
I'm, I don't, my cutting surface is not wide enough. So this setup is what I've cut for my right and left side. And that piece right there is an inch and a quarter wide and an inch at the bottom. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the very beginning. We're gonna put that our jig on our paper. Does anybody have any questions about that? Are you are you getting the feed, Tom? Or are you not getting it? Yes, I am. Okay. Aaron from Sandpaper Road. Aaron, it's so good to see you. Uh, well, I guess I'm not seeing you, but it's so good that you're. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so we're going to lay our die down right on top of that jig, and we're going to use our tape to tape that in place. And now we can take our jig and get rid of it and tape the card down. And we know that we have our die set up properly, and then we're going to put that through our die cut. Now, the other thing is, if we crank that off at an angle and do not run it straight through, the die cut machine will cut better than if I just put it straight on the platform. So I wanna show you that. So if we just run the die, if we put it on our platform and we run it through straight, when the rollers hit, you'll hear a clunk, 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 which is okay, but your die will be better and your machine will like you more if you crank it off at a little bit of an angle and come in at an angle, then the die is hitting that a little bit at a time, better for your dies, better for your machine, better for everything. Okay, so that's taped on there, and did that shift off at an angle? I think it sure did. I think I'm gonna have to set that up and cut again. You do wanna pay attention to what you're doing and not talk. <laughs> really? <laughs> or you'll have a crooked card. Really? <laughs> You've been telling me that for a long time, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So, if you have a crooked card, you get to start over. <laughs> you get to start over. <laughs> Do you need another piece of cardstock? No, Mr. Creek. I bought several in the in the event that I had that problem. I know y'all are shocked that Julie would have that problem, but Ooga. let's Ooga. try that again. Ooga. So, Ooga. crooked card, crooked card. <laughs> Ooga. Ooga. <laughs> Okay, let's try again. See, if you first don't succeed, you should try again. There we go. Now I'm paranoid, ladies. Have you ever been paranoid? There we go. Okay, we're gonna cross our fingers that we have it right. So that is waiting for uh, 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 me to turn it into something else. You know, they say that mistakes are just an opportunity for something else to happen. There we go. Now, we have taped that down with our tape. So we're going to put our undo on there. Undo is going to suspend adhesion. Undo is your friend. Because that'll take that off without... Um, damaging your card surface. There is a link to purchase undo on Amazon. Um, on our Facebook page, we do not stock it or carry it in our store because it is flammable. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. And now we have our cuts on the side and we have our folds where we want them. We're going to take our scoreboard and put that up in our scoreboard. And we want that first score to be over on the left, over here. And we're going to take our tool and we're going to score that center point at four point. Are you point sure that's your left and not your right? Two, five. <laughs> Mr. Creek's going to sleep with the dogs tonight. Um, we're <laughs> we're scoring. We don't have any dogs. Four point two five, right there. So don't score all the way across. Just hit that little spot right there. Okay. Have you ever tried post-it note flags? Um, no, Loretta's going to have to explain that more. Do share, Loretta. Okay, so we have this. We're going to take that first fold, and we're going to fold that down, and that's going to be our valley. And then we're going to fold a mountain back here in the back. And then we're going to push that card down, and that is your A2 card. 
That's pretty fun. Okay. Now, that is your step card, and now you're ready to decorate your step card. So to decorate our step card tonight and make a toolbox, we are going to cut some red paper and some gray paper and build that toolbox. So I have my base here, and the base is 4 by 2.75. And you were able to measure that very quickly just by laying that on I, the grid I pad, I right? cheated and put it on my grid pad, yes, sir. So I have three pieces of red, and those are 1.25 by 4, and we're going to stack those up and um, use those for the drawer on the cabinet. We are going to make this into a um, pocket um, where, so you can put a gift card in there. So you can actually tuck that all the way in and then they won't even know it's there if you don't want, if you don't want them to know. Um, and then you have a place for a gift card. So you could make a, um, you can make this panel in a many different ways and have different kind of gift cards in there. So I'm going to put a little edge on the top of my drawers for the pull on the drawer. And I took my um, gray cardstock and I put super tacky tape on the back of it. And then I cut it one quarter inches long by the width of the drawer, which was four inches. And we're gonna put that up on that top edge. So our we have that little drawer edge okay we only need 11 more only Viewers 11 more to people to get that third price so if y'all hit that share button tom will have a big party and give something else away party, there's a party going on right here. so we're going to put that across the top <laughs> <laughs> loretta said they use the ticket notes to show where to sign or as flags at work Yes. They aren't as sticky as purple tape and oh, don't okay. tear my card stock. Okay, that's a good... Even, Loretta, even if you run it through the die cut machine, it still is okay. Because the purple tape doesn't tear your tear, but when you go running it through the die cut machine, that's when you have womp, womp. an issue. So it'll be interesting to see what she says about that. Okay, those are the three drawers. We're going to put those drawers up on our card. And I just take my super tacky tape and put tape along the bottom edge what size did you use on of that? all of them. I'm using the quarter inch, Mr. Creek, right there, right along that bottom edge. You have and good you, scissors tonight? I'm just, I do have good scissors because someone provided them for me. Some awesome husband. We're going to run tape. I'm going to put a little piece at the top just in case I want to go back in and use it later. I don't know that I'll use it. Cross, across, across. And then we're just going to stack up our drawers. And that. So you can um, think about the color of cabinet that your husband has, if he has one. And, um, if he doesn't have one, give him a red one because that's the kind he wants. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, if he doesn't have one, just skip the card and go buy the cabinet. Is that what you're saying? Well, you can do that too. Are you wanting one? Well, one of these days, I have a room, a place to put. Yeah, it. yeah. Would you put your tools away if you had one? You need to talk to your son about that one. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. You, you would think that he died and gone to tool heaven if he'd seen my shop versus your son's. I don't know if you should talk about your son online. He's a good young man. He's, he's sloppy. <laughs> okay, so we have cut our tools, um, and this is the uh, mini tool set. So I, Tom helped me cut these the other night, and... Um, so we're going to add some tools. Is that when I dropped the die in the trash can? That was can? when you drop, dropped the die in the trash can. What I thought was cool was Tom had the idea of taking the um, the little screw and putting it in the middle for a handle, for a from, drawer from handle. The mini, from the mini tool set. From the mini tool set. Yes, sir. You did. You did. Which I thought was pretty darn creative of the man. The longer he hangs around, the more creative he gets. 
as he was throwing the stuff in the trash can, he was coming up with creative ideas. So if you missed that story the other day, Tom was helping me die cut and he was, he dropped uh, dies in the trash. So we're going to put the tools on there. The tools are a little long, so I just clipped them off. And I should say that before I die cut this, Tom put the super tacky tape on the back of them. So you can see, you can literally just go in and drop those tools in wherever you want to put them. The wrench, is this a wrench? Is this, what is this thing called? That's a wrench. Yeah. This wrench, I actually cut it in half and then you can put, you know, you can put it in there twice, two different ways. Take our hand, our uh, screwdriver and we, we're gonna cut that off and put that in the top. Don't need that one yet. Put that up there, that's going up at the top. Get our hammer. So you can just take your tools, slip those in however you want them. You do have to trim them down. They're a little long. I think I'm missing the, missing some little pieces, but that's okay. We're gonna put the hammer in. Put the hammer in. You know, a few years ago, um, a friend of mine gave me this really awesome scraper tool. Um, I was uh, pulling nails out of a floor after we had um, tore out some carpet, actually at Retreat House. And she gave me this really cool scraper tool and it has a scraper tool and then it has like this nail remover thing. And I have kept it um, hidden <laughs> for years um, because the men in my family um, are hard on tools. Mr. Creek, do you see the foam, the clear foam tape? Do I see it? Yeah, I need clear foam tape. Another roll? No, I had it here. I mean, is it underneath my... This is ground control to Major Tom. Okay. I'll go get your roll. Yeah, well, get me the cream because cream? I don't want to, I, the other one has to be... Oh, it's in the trash. Ah, there you go. <laughs> You know what? If, uh, if all else fails, look in the trash. We're going to put the clear tape. Does anybody do that at home? Please tell me that's not. I'm not the only Anyway, I hide the tool from Tom because he does not take care of things the way I like them taken oh, care of. On. Well, it's my tool. And the you let things rust, and I hate that. The other day, I went out. Tom asked me to get something out of his cabinet for him, out of his tool cabinet. And I went over there, and ladies, do you know what I found in the tool cabinet? With what? rust all over it. What? My tool. What tool? Yeah, my tool that Diane got me. Which tool? The tool Diane got me. Oh, well, that's because you used it a lot. No, I, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh. In your garage was my tool with dried spackling compound and rust all over it. All right. Well, I think that was from... <laughs> I think I was doing a project for you. As a I think, uh, you know, you know what I think happened? What? I think your son came to live with us. Notice it's not my son anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's your son. Loretta says she has her own tools. Yes. And I think my son used the tools and did not put them back. You know, one time when we were gone to a show, my um, grandson, who was four, hang hung off of the drape in the dining room and ripped the curtain right. <laughs> out of the wall. wall and i think that's why my spackling tool oh, that's was used and and uh, not put away properly so we ha my son came to live with us for a little while last year while they were moving okay do you see what i'm doing i put foam all the way around that edge and now i have created that wonderful pocket for my gift card Get my gift card, and um, that'll that card will just slide right in there. That's so fun. And then you can die cut the words that you want across the bottom. I have those die cut, but I'm not going to take the time to do that tonight. You show them, right? Love you, Dad. Isn't those aren't those the or words you can, that every dad wants? Or to you hear. can say Grandpa or Papa. What are what are your other words for Grandpa? Papa. Dad. Papa. Okay, so that is our first card. That is the center cut from the step card. 
Tom, do you have a contest? Where are we at on yes. 77? Yeah, we've gone the wrong direction. Oh, we're at 80. We're at 80. We're okay, at 80. we're at 80. We, we, only, we only need 10 more. We only need 10 more. Only 10 more. more. Okay. So Tom away. does have things to give away, though. Give away a wonder why. Okay. okay. Let me get my questions here. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move the camera. I'm going to leave it down. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? I think they need my, see my face. No, I think, this I is, don't think so. This is an incredible one. Okay. All right. Okay. You, right. The camera's facing down. Okay, it is? Do you, yes, do you want oh, me to pull well, it up? that's no fun. Ladies, I'm going to pull the camera up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, for all you dog lovers out there, you're going to love this one. Because most breeds of dogs Can I see? were bred for a purpose, right? Okay, so. I, you know, let me just say, I did not check the questions ahead of time. <laughs> there, There is a breed of dogs. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I'm not talking about the pit bull. Oh my God. I'm talking about <laughs> chihuahuas. They're, you either love them or you hate them most of the time. But what, at one time, people actually loved them intensely. What were the chihuahua dogs originally bred for? The winner wins the Wonder White. Does anybody have a chihuahua dog? Does anybody own one? Do you own a chihuahua dog? Nobody's got it yet. Nobody. I don't even have a clue how to answer that question. <laughs> well, somebody said something funny. All right, I'm picking up and we're gonna move on to uh, the sunshine card. And we're going to have uh, the have Taco to say... Bell. Taco Bell, that was funny. Who said Taco Bell? And Rita That's funny. Nora. She has a good sense of humor. Right. Do you have a winner? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm set, ladies. I'm setting up for my other card. I'm getting ready for you. I'm getting ready. <laughs> so is my age. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Um, Aaron. To buy ankles. Yeah. True, true dat. Okay, <clears throat> so you got, do you have that taken care of? No, I, I was waiting to see if some, all right. Do you have a winner? Do you have a clue? She thought she was being funny when she, okay. answered, when she answered it. Okay, but if she uh, answered, she answered. She did, she okay, did. Okay, who won? It was the closest answer so far. Okay, the closest <laughs> answer so far. But I'm going to give it to her. Okay. Marita Lenora said that they were bred for Taco Bell. Oh my God. And the answer is they were bred for tasty meat. The original hot dog. That's right. <laughs> Chihuahuas were bred hey, to if eat. If you can't so, make it, if you can't make it to the store, you can just eat your dog. <laughs> well, they bred them for that. Anyway, originally. Who did? Whoever bred the dog Who did? for tasty meat. The breeders of Chihuahuas. <laughs> So, Marita Lenora, I want you to private message us your uh, um, address, and we'll ship this to you. <laughs> and stay away from the hot dogs, ladies. <laughs> You're going to get sued by the beef producers. Okay, so we're going to um, use that step die on the side, and we're going to slide it over to the side, and we're going to cut on the side. So I'm going to go over with you when I turn the camera down how to um, how to do that. And I'm gonna share a little trick with you. The frustrating thing for me about um, the step card is, I'm always wanting to add pattern paper to the card and getting it to fit on the card exactly the way I want is tricky. So you have to like try to figure out, am I gonna cut strips or am I gonna do, how am I gonna do this? So I'm gonna teach you how to add a piece of paper to this and get it to cut and mat exactly the way you want it. Do you see how my mat on this background is trimmed perfectly all the way around? And then it's fitting on that inside piece perfectly. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then we're gonna add the um, sunshine panel. Yeah, Barb, I'm with you. I'm not eating the... Uh, 
the Chihuahua. Anyway, I wonder wonder why Taco Bell used that dog if they, I guess maybe they didn't oh, know. Oh, Taco Bell. I mean, they you you know they used the Chihuahua as a. No, they didn't use a Chihuahua. They, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Well, the dog. Short, they're short haired and. No, they had a dog. Was, they'd be easy to skin. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, ladies, didn't Taco Bell use the Chihuahua as its like logo? Or, there you go. There didn't they? Go. Am I right or wrong? Tell me if I'm right. Get your fresh hot dog. Yes, Marty said yes, they did. See, you didn't even realize that. See, Tom didn't even realize y'all. That's why y'all said Taco Bell. Yes, and the dog had a name, but I don't remember it. So, see, it's yes, it's they it's used it. They're right. Everybody's agreeing with me. Yes. Its name was food. It's name food. Okay. Oh my gosh. Aaron's praying for me. Thank you, Aaron. I need it. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera down. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this card and I probably won't put like the whole card together. We'll see what we got, but um, I don't want to just bore you out of your mind. I do want to show you though, when we get to this, we're not going to do this whole entire card, but I do want to show you how to do this little banner. There's a little trick to that thing, and I want to show you that. So we'll get going. I'm going to turn, the name was Gidget. Gidget, is that what I said? I'm going to turn the camera down, so hang on, and then we're going to cut the other way. So great little die because we can um, turn it around and do so much with it. So we have that step die, and... Get ourselves going here. <clears throat> so what we have here is our, um, we're starting with that basic piece of cardstock and that's 5.5 .5 by 8.5. And when you make your jig, you're going to make it 5.5 .5 by 4.25. Going to give yourself an inch at the bottom. Nine more. Nine, nine more. more. Ladies, and we'll break a world record. Oh, no. A new world, world record. An, an inch and a quarter on the side. Now, I can use this on the left, or I can use it on the right. And you can see on my little jig I wrote, makes a left panel, makes a right panel. And this is set up, my jig is set up so that this is far as far to the right as I can go. If I want to slide it over and, you know, I want to do only a half of an inch over here or maybe an inch, I can. But this is the maximum depth that I can get out of this die and run it through a standard die cut machine. So I have my jig there. And what we're going to do is take our pattern paper and we're going to cut our pattern paper 5.25 by 4 and I am using the paper from our sunshine collection sunshine. and there are just some really nice bright happy Do I need to grab one of those paper papers in that collection no I think we're good so I'm going to put this on my card and I want to center it on the bottom panel and I'm going to tape that in place with what? I'm going to use the purple tape. Okay, now we're going to put the jig on top of that. And we're going to set our die in place. And we're going to try to make sure we don't mess it up this time. Tape it in place. There we go. Now, I wanted to show you, if you have your card lined up, the base card lined up square on the grid here, do you see how I have that lined up square on the grid? When I tape the die in place, I can look at the grid and I can see my grid line here and I can see that I have that all the way straight, all the way down. Just an extra check to know that I have it straight. My issue is <clears throat> I'm not paying attention when I'm diving. I need to pay better attention. There we go. 
Now, this pretty much has to go straight in my machine. You guys can't see this, but hard to put this at an angle because it takes up pretty much the whole cutting deck. So we're gonna pull that out. Ooh, we only need eight more. Eight more shares. Okay, so we're going to remove that tape. Seven more Sharon said. Sharon. So we're gonna pull that off and what we're going to find is we have that piece cut what we're going to find is we have purple tape stuck to our fingers. Okay, pull that off. And we have that piece cut exactly the way we want it. And we have our card cut for us. So we're going to take our card and we're going to take our scoreboard. We're going to put that card up on the scoreboard. And where whichever the side is that you did not cut is where you want to score. So we're gonna open that up and we're gonna score up to the cut line at 4.25. Just give yourself a little score mark there. <clears throat> and then we're going to fold that first fold down. And then there, and then make your mountain or your valley, I mean. Now you have that fold right there that we put in by hand and that fold is gonna go. And you just made that step card that's offset fun now remember we cut this right and we we cut it so we could mat that on our card so we're going to take our paper trimmer now and where the fold mark runs across the bottom of the card we're going to put that up in our paper trimmer and we're going to trim now we know that that first fold was like about an inch so you can Put this in and cut, just cut it an inch, but I have found it's better to get that fold, to cut the fold off so that it's not showing. So you kind of have to like eyeball it, cut it. Now, if you um, have a paper trimmer that has this line across the top, this line in the top of the cutting blade tells you where the cutting point is. And so if I push that right up to the line coming across here, then I know that I have that right up in the point. And then I can just trim that out. And that gives me the two pieces that I need for the inside of the card. So now I can adhere that to my card and we will do that. I like to, when I use these, when I do the step cards, I like to use the liquid glue because it does add a little bit more stability and Gives me a little wiggle time if I don't get it right on. So we're gonna use the our Institute liquid tonight for that. And then we're just gonna set that right on the edge and we know we have it. Isn't that cool? I like to mat those and have that cut just exactly perfect on that edge. Okay, now the piece that goes, the piece that we cut out, I don't know if you guys can see it online, it has a definite fold mark here because the the um, machine put that fold mark in there, but I just slip it in there anyway, and it sits right where that piece comes across and doesn't hardly show at all. So let's slip that in. So once you, if the fold line bothers you, once you start decorating your card, you can work at covering it up. I just don't worry about it. Now, when I go back in and line this up, I line that outside line up so that I have a nice straight line. And now I have that space matted and you can see my pattern even matches fun. Okay. Woo you know, it's the little things that make me happy. It is. It is. Like getting the bottle stopper on my bottle. There we go. Okay. The other night I didn't put my bottle stopper on and that did not end well. Okay. So, we are going to cut the, uh, we're going to add the sun panel to this card. I thought it was fun the way this hangs off the card and then it says sending a little bit of sunshine. So I wanna show you how I actually did that because there's a little trick to that. So I'm using the sun panel die and I am die cutting. 
So this is designed to actually fit on the front of an A2 card. Looks like this. Okay, we're gonna take our panel. The first thing we're gonna do. Um, Rula, um, F. Rita in Flora said she liked the paper. Is that in the sunshine paper pad? It is in the sunshine paper pad. Would you? Which is uh, behind you, right yes, there. Yes, would you mind getting me a roll of half inch tape, please? Half I, inch super tacky? Yes, I need half inch super tacky. Yes, that is, that paper is in the sunshine paper pad. And this is what that looks like. And it has just a great collection of happy, bright, sunshiny paper. Okay, and there are four of every color, and they are all two sided. 24, count them, 24 sheets. 24 sheets, holy mackerel. So, lots of great things you can do with them. Um, our big, our, you can put that back in the. Our big push um, spring that we were going to debut at the shows was this. Um, a whole line of sunshine and what, happiness. What, what shows in the spring? Well, we don't have any, but if we did have any, that's what we would be talking about. Okay, so we want to die cut this sunray panel on a piece of really heavyweight cardstock. I am using 110 pound hard hard stock cardstock because this is hanging off the edge and it needs some stability. So I'm. We do have 110 pound cardstock on the website. Now, what we know is we're gonna adhere this in the lower corner down here. So I'm gonna take my pencil and just draw that line right there. And that's telling me that I'm going to adhere that in the lower corner. Here's why. We're going to take the half inch tape and we're gonna run half inch tape across this in two rows and down the side because we're going to attach on the side. I actually made two extra cards today and put them in the mail because I think it's a good time to send somebody sunshine. Sunshine, that's right. Okay, there's my card. I'm going to put the die on top and I'm going to die cut. I'm going to put my heavy duty configuration back in. I like cutting on that precision plate. So we're going to also cut the same thing in yellow. <clears throat> because we really want the yellow. So there's our die. We're gonna pop that out. Okay, <laughs> now. We're gonna put yellow. We want yellow on top, right? Because we want that beautiful yellow color, okay? So we're gonna pop out, we're gonna cut it in yellow. When we cut it in yellow, we're going to cover the whole entire back with our super tacky tape. So if you can use the three inch roll or the six inch roll, you unroll that paper, unroll the tape, put your paper in it, and then die cut. If you have the three inch roll, just seam your paper down the back so that you have two pieces. I use the larger six inch. So I'm going to adhere this right on top of that 110 pound paper. Now, if we tried to peel off this tape liner and get this to sit on there exactly, chances are slim and none that we would do it accurately. So we're gonna take our undo and we're gonna flood the whole white piece with our undo. And then we're going to set that yellow piece <laughs> exactly where we want it. What are you giggling about? Uh, Cynthia made a comment. Cynthia is being funny. So we're going to line it all up. Um, Mary Beth likes your, likes your bracelet. Well, thank you. Mary Thanks, Mary, Mary Beth. Beth. Mary Beth. Um, you can, um, that is from paparazzi. I have a friend in um, New York. The bracelet? Yes. Jeans. Are you talking about jeans? Jeans. Oh my gosh, Carmen. Adorable, affordable, 
accessories. Carmen, if you're still around and you can tell me, tell the girls, uh, Jean has a Facebook page and um, she sells paparazzi. And so that is a paparazzi piece. Okay. Hey, what is the link for, to buy the unders? It's on our Facebook page. You have to go to our Facebook page, Creek Bank Creations, or you can go to Creek Bank Creations blog and um, pull up the Dweedle card post and it's on there. Okay, do you guys see how I did that? Got it all stuck on there now. We um, have that really nice and heavy now. It's secure. And we, what we want to do is the technical um, the technical thing that's called drying. <laughs> because remember, in the very beginning, we put tape all along that edge. So we kind of, I can still see where the undo is kind of there. So what we want to do is undo that tape. And then we're going to be able to adhere that to our card. Adorable, affordable accessories. So I'm going to go back in with my pick tool and remove that liner. If you um, like her page, then you'll know when she is on. And um, you can check out the pieces that she has. And they are adorable and affordable. And she is amazing. Peeling, peeling, peeling. Um, so I'm just taking my tool and going in there and lifting that off. So having that tape on there in the very beginning was important. And we used the half inch because I wanted um, I wanted more. I didn't want to use the quarter inch because I wanted more adhesion, but I didn't want the whole thing covered. So if you have other panel dies, this is a good trick to try. Okay, now we're going to set that on our card and we will have adhered that right where we want it. Not fun. That's our bat, our panel. And then I have pre-stamped my sentiment and this is in the stamp set that you get with the um, bundle special has the uh, sunshine sentiments and we are going to be doing a lot of creative things with that stamp set over the next few weeks. So you will have many chances to use it. We are about to embark on a sunshine crusade. We are going to embark. You are invited. Okay, so I'm just working away here, not telling you. So I cut this with a circle. This is the sun die. Sun die. Um, this, when it die cuts, all of these pieces fall apart. Not so use the sun die. Yeah, some dye. And this is the inside. Um, it embosses all that detail. So I specifically designed this thing so you could pull it apart and build layers with it and do different things with it. In this case, we're just going to drop that sentiment in there. And that I already had my tape on the back of it. And then we're going to peel the back and stick that on the background of that step card. And that will be our sentiment. So when we go to put this in, we want that to sit right in there behind our, our sun. So we're going to make sure it didn't shift. I didn't know if it shifted in my hand. It is a very tight fit. So here's the deal. That's no, no pressure. There's sticking. No, there's only, there's only 80 I'm going to put un, undo on no my pressure. fingers. I. <laughs> Did y'all invite him? I'm going to put undo on my fingers so I can slide that out and I can stick that right in there and push out. Very good, Mrs. Creek. Isn't that fun? I, I'm excited about that card. I think it's fun. Okay, so that's how you add a panel and we did the left side and then we have... I, di I did want to show you this before we move on. So we die cut this panel and we had this left over, right? So I took the outtake, show you this, and I made this card with it. So um, that's kind of cool that you can get like a whole extra card out of it. And the background of this card, let me get it up close for you, is um, I took the yellow cardstock, I put super tacky tape on it. Okay, so yellow. the background is yellow cardstock, super tacky tape. I put the panel on, I put the yellow panel on, 
while it was still sticky. So I covered the whole thing with undo. I put the panel on, I put the sun on, I put the inside on, and then I put the whole panel in the glitter. And that is how I built the background of this card. So that is a fun card to give. And we just made two cards from that one die. Fun stuff. So you can do great creative things with that outtake. Any questions on that? Got you, understand that? Thank you. Okay, good deal. I think that's fun. I think this is a fun card too. So um, this is the same exact card cut exactly the same way. I use the pattern paper, put the pattern paper on the background. And what I, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is if you're building a card and you wish this space were larger, you can always add in, like you could cut a rectangle or a square. You could do a scallop. In this case, I put the circle on it. This sentiment is new. It just arrived. And um, which one is it? It is called Bless You. And online, is this called Bless You O2? Yes, O2. Yes. Bless You O2. Bless we do you. have an old Bless You, but this is a new one. And it has a shadow on it. And it has, it has the word and the shadow. And as you can see, can it's, get one? it's very, no, they're looking at it. It's very tiny. And then I've accented this piece with the uh, mini butterfly set and the mini butterfly set has the little flowers in it and there's the chunky letters. What I wanted to share with you was a little tip about this little banner that I cut for the word mom. And I wanted you to see how that's got lift Raise it up from the side. Just a little side. bit more. Just a little bit. There you go. There you okay. Go. So I want to show you how I did this. We have a banner die called... Banner? <laughs> I think it's, oh, Many banners? Tom, I think you better look it up. I think it's called uh, Banner 02. It's this die set right here. And it has six dies in it that range in size from 3.75 inches to three. And so some of these are a half an inch wide, and some of them are quarter of an inch wide, and they're all fishtailed. This is early Creek Bank, one of the very first things we came out with. Um, and the, they had three stamps that coordinated with it. And some of you probably own some of these stamps. That's why I'm sharing this with you. Banner it's This is called Banner 002. I'm going to show you a trick with it. Um, it is designed to fit over the banners on Happy Birthday. Do you see that? Happy Birthday week, they all fit. Okay, the, this piece is made so you can stamp this as a clear or a solid color. So you could stamp the banner in pink. You could stamp the word in black, and then you could come back and die cut. I used the larger one out of this set for mom here. Thank you, Pastor, also coordinates with this. Pastor Appreciation Month, I think, is in September. This is a good set for that. I appreciate all you do. I'm praying for you. God is using you. I bet every pastor would like to get a card with that this week. Um, the bless you stamp. Consider yourself blessed. Sending blessings. Um, these are all, all of the banners are designed to coordinate with this die. This one's fun. The paper airplane. You can do the slide card and you can do the sending blessings and use the airplane to slide in the slide guide. So I have taken that die and I have die cut that on heavyweight cardstock. And as soon as I can find it. Do you need my help? Well, I don't know. I thought I had it free die cut. We yeah. might have to die cut. Do you see that anywhere? For a banner? <laughs> yeah, I can die cut one. I'll just die cut it. I um die, die cut. And when I do these banners, I like to do them on the heavier weight cardstock because they take a little abuse. I will talk about that at the end. So once I have that die cut, I'm going to take that and I'm going to take my scoreboard and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to score. I'm, I'm always laughing at the end because I have such a mess. I, I, I need I'm, to go get you some cards. No, I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. He's being helpful. I'm going to score at um, 
a quarter, I'm sorry, at a half inch and three quarters of an inch. And then I'm gonna flip that around to the other way and I'm gonna score half inch and three quarters of an inch. Now, the chunky alphabet fits in this banner piece. Pat Mays just looked it up today and it's in October. Okay, it's in October, Pat. Thank you, thank you for helping me out there. Okay, so I have those two score marks and I have the ability to make that banner and then you can put your, whatever your word is in there. I put mom in there and you can see the tiny chunky alphabet fits in there perfectly. So what I do is flip that over and then take your foam tape and put your foam tape in there. And I like to put one across the top and one across the bottom. Tom, how are we down numbers? Are we there? No, no. We, we, how far we, off are we? We peaked at 83. Uh, and where are we at right now? There's 77 or whatever. Okay. Right okay, but you do have one more thing to give away, right? I do, yes. Okay. Okay, so put your foam tape in there and then little piece of tape on the end. Just give yourself a little piece there. And what you'll have is that really nice dimensional banner piece to put on your card. And I just love the way the foam tape, so you're gonna remove your foam tape and put that on your card. And what you'll get is the support of the foam tape back there, get that. And you can, do you see how I'm tucking though? You can tuck, put one piece down, push the middle down, put the other, and what you'll have is a nice dimensional banner piece for your card. And that is how I did the mom. So you can actually, if you don't have the die, you can actually just cut a piece of paper and snip the corners yourself. But I know a lot of people hate to cut fishtails. Um, so that's the, if you wanna have a die to cut them, you can use the banner 002 and it will do it for you. So um, I think Tom, oh, I do wanna show you. The um, Diane sent me cards we were supposed to have these Tuesday and they didn't come in time. They came today though. This is the um, slide card that we did and she used the butterfly and I hope your day's amazing with the purdy, um, purple party paper pad. So that was a great the slide pretty, card. The, pretty the purple party. Paper it's pad. the purple party. And then this is the tractor set, which we looked at Tuesday as well, but Diane made um, the straight slide with it and she added the, um, mud puddles in brown and it's just a really nice card so wanted to share those with you next what is today today's thursday today's thursday so we're doing next the the uh, dweedle pop-up card on next on, thursday, on thursday a week from they, today here's the deal okay if they want me to get it to them in, on time yes okay. this is the dweedle card we're doing next thursday i'm gonna pull the camera up so hang on i'm coming up okay the dweedle card all right. If you if you if you place a regular order, you go, oh, oh tomorrow. <laughs> there's been a there's been a major accident here. <laughs> the Dweedle card. If you if you order it, it's free freight. If you already have an existing order and you put it in your order, it's going to go to your priority mail. However, if you only order the card kit, I'm going to pay the freight, but I'm sending it first class. Which means if you want it first class, I have to have the orders no later then Saturday for first class. If you have an existing order or, or if you're putting in another order and you want to add it, it's going to go out priority. Does, am I as clear as mud on order that? Order fast is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. That if you want long, this and, and, and this is all you're ordering, I'm shipping first class. Around the mountain. I have to have your order <laughs> by Saturday uh, morning. Okay, so That's morning. if you go to... Okay. Saturday morning. In order to get it to you on time. <laughs> if you go to the blog, www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com, um, and look for the Duido card. The complete supply list is on the website. And um, we do have a bundle special for the Angel Side Circle, and it includes the Duido stamp and die. So if you look on the website under bundle special, I have added the... Um, Duido? The, the, the special, the Angel Side Circle bundle special. You already added that? I added it today. Well, we need to, we need to tell them what's in it. Do you remember what's in it? It's on the website. It has the, 
my phone oh, is going to fall over. Right here. It on. has the um, angel side circle basic die. It has the circle happy birthday in it. It has the dweedle stamp and the dweedle die. And Tom's getting pricing. It is a normally priced at $59.96. And, and it's on sale for $41.99. That's almost at $17.97 savings, ladies. That's a that's a chunk. Almost $18 you're gonna save on that. Now I'm gonna give some. So away. Diana's saying, um, did you check on hers today? She still did not get it. Diane, I did. I shipped it first class on, in fact, I pulled that out. I think it went out on the 17th. It's been five days. Uh, yes, it's been five days. Should be there too by tomorrow. Order as well or no? No. 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 Okay. But I did ship it out first class. I did check on your order. Yes. Uh, but I don't have a tracker on that. It's, it went out standard first class mail. So it should be there to you today or tomorrow or tomorrow or the next day. So Okay. So okay. Tuesday we're doing pull cards and we're doing the pull and push cards. And we do have a bundle special for that. And there is a blog post about that as well. Um, do you want to grab one of the, my, that's my stack of pull cards up there? Yes. That's what we're doing. I have a trivia I'm question. sorry. If this, yeah. Question. What's the question? I'll do the question. Sorry, ladies. Oh, this is kind of a fun I don't know why the camera does not want to cooperate. Okay. Okay. Okay, ladies. You know that carnivores are meat eaters and vegetarians are what? Or herbivores or... Vegetarians. They're vegetarians. <laughs> They're vegetarians. They're vegetarians. They're vegetarians. Vegetarians. Okay. All right. I'm a, I'm in the line of a, I'm more of a carnivore. Wouldn't eat a chihuahua. Unless it was prepared right. Okay. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold on. Somebody's asking about Embelly Jelly, and it did not come in. It has been delayed. The Postal Service, the system is a bit of a disaster right now. We are thinking it, it will Friday. be here Friday. So we Tomorrow. will, if you have an order and you're waiting on Embelly Jelly, um, our anticipation is that we have them ready. We have all the orders ready to go. We're just waiting. So soon. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay. So then find my trivia question. Da, 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 da. What do vegetarians do more than carnivores? And I don't mean clean vegetables. What do vegetarians do more than carnivores? The answer gets a pack of slide guys which goes with last Tuesday's uh, class or, or presentation where we did the slide guards. And we, we're going to use slide guides in on Tuesday for the pull cards. So Tuesday we're going to do, we're going to learn about the pull and push mechanism. I'm going to make two cards. We're Hold going it, who to, said that? Loretta Potts was the first winner. Yes. What was that? That's exactly, it's fart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he is so not appropriate. You know how um, Office Max has that button that says, that was easy. That was easy. I need a button for Tom that says that was not appropriate. <laughs> that was not appropriate. So we're going to do the pull and push cards and um, we're going to talk about them. This bundle special is already on the website if you want to take a look at that. And um, we'll make two cards and we'll talk about um, this card and we're going to do an ink through technique. We're going to do an ink through <laughs> technique <laughs> on the Dweedle card as well. So fun. There's some really good answers here. There's some really good answers and... here. Pop. So we'll do that Tuesday. So um, check the blog if you're wanting like a complete supply list of stuff. I'm putting that stuff on the blog. So if you go find a certain card, you'll see there. There's a complete list of the supplies that we used, and there are links back to the website. So we um, we were kicked off the road on March the sixteenth, right? When we the last time we no, it was the end, it was the last show. March. It was March. March. I think sixteenth, and we won't be going back on the road until probably earliest June. And um, consuming, we'll be in So well, that's if we. If we have that show, we're we're so, hoping we're going to be on the road in, we, in Florida first of June. We or, are so thankful. Yes, for you all. For you. Yeah, and, we, we um, love you. you for crafters. giving us a connection. You, it's been wonderful working with you. It, uh, you know, I, 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 we talk to you. We we converse 
And you're the uh, live best and, and, group of crafty ladies. And we have a lot of fun with you, and we appreciate you. Somebody's and, asking about acetate. Do you want to update them real quickly on acetate? Uh, there's a shortage we on have, acetate we have an right now. We do have an acetate problem. Because of the coronavirus, most of the acetate on the market has been eaten up for face masks, believe it or not. Yeah, I found that out today. Uh, but we are still working on a source. We're trying to, to find a new supplier and we are hoping that it will come in um, and that you can use the discount on it. But we we have a serious problem that we're Tom spent quite a bit of time today working on trying to figure that out. So um, if you have some at home and you would like to make a lot of money off of it, you can just <laughs> turn it into my, my face mask. You can turn it into a face mask. And then um, you won't be able to make cards with it. <laughs> Probably can't see out of it either. <laughs> but you will It's going to steam up too. <laughs> mask. So, yeah, face shields. I'm yeah, sorry. Face, You're right. Face, face, yes, face shields, not mask. Yes, face shield. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, that's right. Good we to are see only an email away if you need us. Creekbc at gmail.com or check out the website creekbankcreations. And we'll see you Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. We'll be pulling around. Adios, everybody. Thanks. See you later.